What's up guys, it's Fountain. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to flash um, an MEG tune onto a M4, M3, N55 or N54, it's the same process. To flash the car, you need to plug the OBD port into the OBD right there. And then once that's done, you have to make sure the car is on ignition. Perfect, so the car is now ready to flash. You have to be able to see how much fuel you have in the car to make sure that the AC is off. And I do suggest not turning the AC on because that will interfere with the flashing process. And I also recommend not opening and closing the doors. Uh, you're gonna actually click uh, flash MHD map. See, these are all off the shelf maps. And these maps all have been tested before released, obviously. So they're pretty safe and conservative. Um, you do have a few options here. So stage zero is obviously free. It goes back to the stock map. So if you ever wanna take the tune off the vehicle, you can. You do have a stage one option, which is basically they recommend charge pipes because the plastic charge pipes do end up do end up to crack. Um, it's not a very aggressive map, but it is much faster than JB4. Uh, if you want to get a faster map, it's called the stage two map, which offers a bit more boost. They recommend down pipes for that as well. And then you have ethanol mixes. So in the bright side, you do have a transmission flash option as well. So you have the original which is what I currently have, the CS style and the GTS style. So the GTS does have faster shifting points. But in this case, since I already have the stage two map, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually purchase a map because that's what we'll be doing at first. So I don't have the stage two E30 map, but I'm gonna click it. And then it's gonna ask you to obtain a license. You're gonna click that. When you obtain a license, it's gonna ask you to uh, make a process, to process the payment. And their first initial flash will be around 15 minutes to unlock the DME. And once that's done, the actual map flash is about four minutes. And from there, you're good. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So I'm going to flash to stage two in 93 octane. So uh, it says that the map, that the map rate is actually two minutes. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty quick. And there's an option for burples. So in my case, I don't have uh, exhaust burples, but I will show you guys how that works. So if you want to do enable the burples, you click exhaust burples. And then for base map, meaning in comfort mode, uh, if, you, if you like burples, you can max it out. To max it out, it's about, let me see. It will be two seconds flat, but I personally wouldn't want the burples on my uh, comfort mode, efficient mode. And then on Sport Plus, it does give you a purple feature. So I like, I personally would rather have my Sport uh, button, my Sport setting to have purples. And then there's an OEM style. So you can make it a soft, medium, or hard. On the aggressiveness of hard, you will shoot flames if you do have downpipes from a revving. That's pretty cool. And then it does give you the cold start noise reduction if you don't want the car. Uh, so these cars actually are programmed to heat the cats up in the morning or when the, in the morning in most cases where that's when the car is cold. But I don't have cats and I like to I like the noise so I just keep it off. I don't need to warm up my cattle converters. Uh, that's cool and all right. And there is a safety setting for OEM cats. So if you were on stage one map, and you don't want to flash, you don't want to have burples, you just got to click the we um, uh catted down pipes. So it gives you an idea. So the MHD map does have a softer setting for the burples that won't ruin the uh, cats. So let's go back to the, the options I did have. I'm going to go click exhaust purple off. I'm going to click back. And then I'm going to click map right. So now it's going to connect to the DME and now it's actually start flashing it. You are gonna get strange lights as brake system, drive trail malfunction. That's completely normal. You don't have to worry about that. But I do suggest not touching the vehicle. I, uh, I don't want you guys open the doors or turn the AC on because then it will fail to flash. This is the same process for many different flash tunes. For example, boot mod has the same situation. But with boot mod, you do have to even put the seat belts on as well. Okay, so now we're gonna wait until this completes. 
I have a little um, FYI. If your car is mid-flash and there's any interference, you will have to reflash the vehicle, meaning you have to unlock the OBD again. So that will be a bit of time. For example, if I do unplug this cable or my tablet does die, my car will not turn on. So you have to make sure that you have enough uh, charge for the tablet in that nothing disconnects while flashing. Just get, gotta keep that in mind. Even though this is 100% finished, you do not remove anything, you wait until the coating is done. Perfect, so you gotta uh, turn off the ignition and wait 50 seconds, uh, 30 seconds. So this light can go away, this error message. Perfect, that went away. Away. Perfect. We're gonna unplug this part now because you don't need it. All right, you're gonna click this. And now you're gonna wait 30 seconds. All right, you're all set. So once the flash is done properly, you should be able to turn the car on without a problem. Perfect. So that's how you guys flash the M4 using uh, MHD. Um, I actually, if you guys wanna know something a little funny is, I've actually had MHD flash in my car since I had the car. Um, I bought it zero, but I actually drove it for 5,000 miles and I flashed it right away. I'm currently at 828,000 miles on the car. I haven't had one issue, knock on leather, with the tune or anything. I never had a check engine light or anything. Uh, and also a good thing about MHD or any tune you do choose to go, you can actually remove the top speed limiter from, I believe it's 155 on these cars or I believe it's 155, you can remove that. And let's say you do have down pits on the car, you remove the check engine light so that light won't come on again. I'll actually post a graph on how much power this car does make. The car from stock, on just a stage two map, it makes about 100 wheel horsepower more, just with, just with a downpipe and a stage two tune. Um, stock, these cars make 440 to the wheels. Uh, if it's on a comp pack, it would make around 420. With a MHD tune, it will make uh, bring it up to 500 wheel and around 500, I believe, torque. Um, it's very impressive and it's very quick and it's actually very conservative. Um, I believe it's running around 20, 21 PSI, 20 PSI. I'll get the exact boost pressure to it's running on stage two. Um, there are cars running around 26 PSI 25 PSI, 27 PSI on the custom maps, which those tunes are still safe. So these stock turbos can actually hold a lot of boost and make a lot of power. Um, there are a few guys that I know are running full ED5 on these cars, uh, custom tune, around 600 uh, wheel horsepower. That's actually very impressive, just with stock turbos, stock downpipes, I mean, uh, aftermarket downpipes. But there are some guys making that same amount of power with the downpipes, it's just um, more work for the tuner. And the car doesn't, uh, the fumes don't flow as well out. I hope this video helped you guys on flashing your vehicle. I hope it made it much easier. Uh, it does suggest to plug in a battery cord, uh, just so the car won't die on you. Um, it depends on the car. I personally don't use the battery. I just flash it. It doesn't like my battery is relatively new, so I don't have to worry about it dying on me. If you have an older car, and you don't feel comfortable without flash with flashing it without the battery, then I'll go for it. Just uh, plug it in. Um. And I will attach the cable uh, to the, uh, in the description. I will at also attach the MHD page on the dis uh, in the bio as well. All in, you're looking at with the license is two hundred dollars, and the tune's another. What is two forty nine for the license and hundred dollars for the tune, the actual map you choose. So all in, you're looking around three hundred and forty four hundred dollars, I believe, just for a a tune for the vehicle. Uh, the competitors of MHD are actually have the same tune uh and it's not the exact same tune it's their version of the tune but the same the same power level they're charging around 800 um but but in that case you can't sell the tune you can't sell the competition tune but you can't sell this tune um and that's about it yeah so i hope this video helped you guys and if you guys have any other questions or emails or anything just uh email me or i'll write in the message right in the message center i'll try my best and answer the questions if not I will contact if I don't know the answer I will contact MHD and get the information for you 
And then until then, guys, see you later.